What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Oscar and I'm bringing you guys another video. On today's video, we are back in the garage and we are taking care of the brake system for my 69 BW Beetle. So let's go ahead and get started. Take care of this master cylinder. As you can see, it's very rusty. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get this to straight bare metal, lay down some primer and our final black, and we can go ahead and slap this back in the car. All right, so we're all done. This is what it looks like brand new, but we're gonna go ahead and just throw one coat of primer and one coat of black, just so we don't get that same look that it was a few minutes ago before I cleaned it up. I don't want it to look all crusty and oily and all that. So let's go ahead and throw some primer on it first, let it dry for a little bit, and the next thing we need to do is just throw some black paint on it. All right, so I almost forgot about this part but we do need to paint this as well. So let's go ahead and get this all cleaned up. Okay, so I just got done painting the uh, master cylinder and while that's drying up, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the pedal assembly and we have to do the pretty much the same thing that we did to the master cylinder. So let's go ahead and take this apart and clean it up so we can go ahead and lay some primer down. All right, so here is one of the last pieces that we need to paint. I took everything apart so it doesn't look like a pedal assembly anymore, but let's go ahead and paint this and then the pedals and we'll put it back together. All right, we got our second piece ready for paint. Let's go ahead and do the pedals now. So here's our last piece. After this, we can go ahead and paint it. Oh boy, 
And just like that, we are done. We got the whole pedal assembly to straight metal. And I feel like this is the best way if you want to lay down the best pain possible. If there's any pain or dirt or anything on the item that you're trying to paint, it's just not going to look good. So that's why I get it to straight metal. And then once we're at this point, we're going to go ahead and wash this, get all the dirt off of it, and then we'll go ahead and shoot some primer on it. So here are the other parts for the pedal assembly. We're going to go ahead and give it a wash real quick with some detergent. And once they're all clean, we're going to go ahead and get them ready for some primer. All right, so here's the last batch that I painted. It all came out really, really good. And I'm pretty much done for the day. So tomorrow we'll go ahead and assemble everything and put it back on the car. So it is Saturday today and we're gonna go ahead and continue working on the brake lines on the 69 BW Beetle and later today we're gonna go ahead and go to San Francisco and check out Fleet Week so go ahead and stick around I'll go ahead and get some shots of Fleet Week so I can go ahead and show you guys okay so here's my original brake lines that were on the car before I took it apart so I kept all this so I can use it as a reference when I was doing the new brake lines. So here's the new brake lines. And what we have to do is pretty much we have to shape them the same way that the original ones are shaped. And that should be pretty easy. I'm gonna go ahead and install this first so we can go ahead and shoot our first line into here and this one goes into the passenger and then the driver's side for the rear. Okay, so I wanna show you guys. So after we put that T fit in right there, so this line is gonna come in, connect right there. 
So it looks like we have to do some sort of 90 degree band over here. So we can go ahead and somehow put it in this hole right here. I'm just done cleaning up. Uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get ready and go hang out with Amanda in San Francisco and watch uh, Fleet Week. And I'm gonna go ahead and include some clips in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy Fleet Week as well. All right, so we're walking in San Francisco right now and we're walking to Walgreens. We're gonna go ahead and get a few drinks and some snacks and then we're gonna go walk to the harbor, I'm pretty sure. The marina. The marina. And once we're at the marina, then we'll go ahead and set up our chairs. good morning guys so yesterday we Amanda and I went to San Francisco and I was planning on working on my car on the in the afternoon but once we got back from San Francisco it was kind of late so I decided just to hang out with Amanda but I'm back in the garage this morning and we're gonna go ahead and continue working on the 69 BW Beetle and hopefully we can finish off all the brake lines today so yesterday we left off right here we got this T fitting and then we bent this a little bit and now we have to get this as straight as possible so we need to make sure that this doesn't go under the pedal assembly so you see how right now it's going so we have to somehow make a 90 degree hit a 90 degree and then we can go ahead and shoot into this hole right here all right so i got my first line done and i thought everything was going smooth until this bracket right here snapped off so now we have to worry about that a little bit later 
uh, where we have to do is we're just going to get it to bare metal and weld the new tab in there. Now we're going to go ahead and continue working on the rear and we're going to do a hard line to the passenger and a driver's side. So let's go. Alright, so I'm putting this back on and what holds this together right here is this clip. I have not painted this or anything, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on for now so I can finish off doing the rest of the brake lines. And then later on, we'll take this off and we'll go ahead and paint it. Looking good. Oh boy, this looks so good. So we got the main line coming all the way down into this T connection. It goes to connect into here and then the back of the wheel. Same thing to the other side. The only thing I'm missing is this right here. I'm going to go ahead and purchase that and hopefully we can come back next week. Put that on and we can bleed the system. It looks so good though. Putting these little fucking rubber seals are such a pain in the ass. Spent about 30 minutes, 40 minutes trying to put this one on nicely so I don't damage the rubber. I think it looks good. But now I have to do it to the other side. And the other side, there's less space for me to mess around with. So I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult on this side. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. So the next thing that we need to do, which we'll do next week, we're gonna go get some brake fluid and we're gonna go ahead and try to pump the system. See if we have any leaks. If we have any leaks, then we have to take care of before we do anything else. And if there's no more leaks, then we'll go ahead and move on to the next thing. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much. And make sure you guys hit that like button. If you guys have any questions, make sure you drop them right below. Thank you.